You guys doing okay over there? Yeah, we're in the car. So now you wait for everybody when we're all in the car. Oh, I'm looking I at. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the menu. What do you mean? I'm I'm doing stuff at my base. Oh. oh man. That is one thing I like about this game is the base building. It is. No, Sixty hours to research new territories. Holy hell! Oh. I think it's 60 minutes. <laughs> it said 60 on, hours, but I guess it could be 60 minutes in real life, yeah. It wasn't letting me change seats. I don't know why. No, because <laughs> other ones are referred to as minutes. Ooh. Uh, yeah. yeah. It takes like a couple of in-game days to research a new zone to go I think, to. I think it's actual 60 hours. No. It's in-game minutes and hours. My. I know, I've done it before. <laughs> I never went, but, uh... Oh, I, no! Uh, you know, oh, you know, <laughs> down! Man down! <laughs> yeah, we'll just say it's 60 hours. No, you don't. Uh, game time. <laughs> Although, if it were 60 hours real time, that would definitely yeah, be a 60 hours real time. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, your engine block. <laughs> <laughs> my camera screen. Also, my guy's getting tired. We have an outpost by that. I don't. He doesn't. That's all right. My guy doesn't need. My mine is getting tired too, but by the time. Have it's you fine. Played? You can stomach a little bit of exhaustion. Wait yeah. a minute. Hold on. One, two, three, four. You have four outposts. Have you never upgraded your command center? I've just never grabbed the, a fifth outpost. Oh. Okay. I've been saving my money. That's a smart thing to do, yes. Looks quite, I should be ready for anything. Okay. Well, Approach the home of the city folk. That's funny. City folk? Oh, That's okay. real funny. They call the city folk on their way the hell out of here. Now up here, apparently. Oh, we gotta get them city folk. Alright, unfortunately... I don't have, uh, much ammo, so... Ah, mm -hmm. What is that?! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, why is this guy got a coat on his head? What? This guy's got a coat on his head! Infestations keep piling up, there's gonna be trouble. I'm pretty sure these guys are dead. There are an awful lot of zombies here for them to not be dead. Uh oh. You're dead. Oh, oh, shit. I'm about to run out of ammo. Oops. Yeah, I, I only have uh, three bullets, so I've just been chilling. Yeah, I have two. So you I better hold on to the rest of mine. <laughs> that's alright, that's why I got a melee weapon, Boobar. Yeah, I'm a CQC specialist. Ha! Okay. Ha! Okay. I'm gonna open this. Something, something special. There's probably gasoline in one of those. For my ammo. Yeah, that one. Hello. <laughs> so they all dead. <laughs> Looks like zombies did our job for us. This group is dead. Problem solved. Now we know where everybody stands. If the coalition tries anything awesome. again, we'll be ready. Yeah, I mean, if they are, if they're dead, they can't be against us. Filling up the gas tank. Oh my god. What? I got a grenade launcher and an M14 DMR here. Oh, nice. Uh, I need something else first. I'll take a DMR. Hold on, let's DMR. see. DMR, now that's a rifle. <laughs> you guys can take all of my pipes and the championship bet. Was also a DLC item. We can have this, this SP-101 Devilette oh, yeah. revolver. This place could come in real handy as an outpost. Yeah. All right. Somebody got their gun. Another gas. Is that all I get to loot? Two gas cans? Hey, uh, that's your bolster's gun. Yay. I want cool gun. Cool, huh? Get a viper. I'm not gonna worry about it. I already have cool gun. <laughs> and then there's also the grenade launcher. Dodge! Fire in the hole! Oh. Wouldn't that be funny? Please don't blow up the car. Don't blow up the car. Look, 
He didn't go that far. I know, but I was close enough. That would have been great. It's a real fork on there. That would have been a lot close enough that I had to say, hey, please don't blow up the car. <laughs> Look, you're, you're gonna be alright. I only had one of those. Look, I don't care that I'm in the car. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to do damage to you anyways. I want you to look at your map, and I want you to see how far you have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> and my guy no. is so tired right now. Yeah. He's half stamina. Uh, He's ready for a nap. Someone in town is really... You can find them in the Battleground neighborhood. Whoa! Battleground State of Decay Battle Royale. Here we come. The trader of exotic goods has come to your territory. Apparently, Battleground neighborhood is a place where we just were. There's a freaking wandering trader over there. What the fuck? Really? Okay. Hey, you guys, we could go over there. You could spend your influence on exotic loot, guys. No, this is going to be DLC. Oh, <laughs> How did this happen? This shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Hey, if you guys oh, can find a car, yeah. I'll be here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you off my head. How the <laughs> fuck did we manage that? <laughs> well, look, man, don't look at gift horse in the The gift horse almost bucked us off. <laughs> That's feral. I've Where? come to be less afraid of the minus. Moment. Pretty pushover. That one? That one. Good luck. They're, they were a lot more scary in State of K1. Uh, Ran? What? Trying to run it over. <laughs> I, I can't do anything. I don't right. have the door. It's, it's dead. It's dead. We got it's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, a lot of things were a lot scarier in State of K1. Plus, I guess, yeah. like, the combat was, like, drastically more clunky. <laughs> it's still clunky in this. They a bit, I think. Because you couldn't headshot them before. Yeah, that would definitely do it. Where'd the traitor go? Uh, He's I not know. here, exactly. He not be oh, I went to my waypoint! The wandering traitor. No, oh, the way my ammo. The wandering traitor ah. is supposed to be over here. Oh, he's across oh, the wow. street! He's across the street. Or she's across the street. Maybe they have coffee for sale. That'd be nice. At the Tartan Mart. I can't keep going so fast. It's a shame I can't have some airdropped uh, coffee for me. Guess you found me. Coffee. Looks like it's your lucky day. Trade All right, ones. let's trade with so, her. She's got only yeah, textbooks. Oh no! I mean, that's not terrible. She's a librarian. See you. Whoa! Those are actually kind of cool. Fucking zombies would stop taking the lady away. All right. So she can teach. Son of a fucking bitch, zombies! I am trying to read the descriptions. There's a horde over here. That's probably why. Fidelia Simpson, if you could just fucking stay here on trade. Okay. Driving textbook. A character with a driving skill spends much less fuel and makes less noise while driving. Any vehicle Wait, they're driving also takes less damage from collisions and other I'm road hazards. way too many infestations around here. That is cool. And then she's got one that allow- then she's got three textbooks that allow people to produce food, uh, produce labor, or produce meds just by being in the community. Oh my god, that's- I didn't know you could buy skill books like those. Those are like the rare skills. Look who always brightens my day. Yeah, I have a character. Stay alive, I have a character that can do fishing for like plus two yeah. a day. Yeah, that's oh my what God. she has. Fuck me, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, boys. I have no idea Can't buy anything from her, so uh, I'm leaving. Good to see you. We're heading home. Wanna buy? Uh oh, there's a horde nearby. Hurry! Oh. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Ah, uh, Randy's not coming, Randy. Nope, just driving out for him. I have sex. Oh. What the it's heck? That's spooky, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ran over Screamer and it's just, it's lingering it's like death <laughs> sound. <laughs> I don't need a scrum certificate person, but I do want this psychology uh, textbook. I have never had somebody with this skill, but I've heard of it. Uh, what, what does skill? it do? It gives you two medicine a day. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, and, I should be fine. Uh, it gives you two medicine per day. It also gives you the basic farming skill of gardening and then herb herbology. Herbalism. Huh. Herb something. Yeah, it's herb something. Plus the two, you know, medicine per day, which pretty much stops you spending uh, medicine completely. Man, that is a lot of fucking zombies. Can a character have multiple skills? Uh, no. You can only have six, Max. Okay. Oh, you already have five to start. So yeah, you can only have one of the cooler spill abilities. Yeah. If you want this uh, book, I'll give it to you. No, I'm good. I could have bought it. Yeah, but I feel like that since you didn't know, it was kind of like a more. No, I'm not playing this game for like the the hardcore min maxing of things. There's not enough depth to like bother with it, so. That horde is coming in fast. I'm chilling. Nah, it's all right. Hey, do you miss me? Things here are quiet for now, but the next. Ow! 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 Dude, my guy's too tired. Yep, we got a zombie uh, coming in. By the no, way. Where am I? Yep. Oh, I I'm need help! The, I'm I the, actually need help! Uh, I'm fine. No, I'm not! I can't do anything! Oh. Well, well, I keep going like this. Alright, alright. Cause right. you made me run so much! We've got no. You made yourself run so much. <laughs> We've got a pause Shut between up. zombies. <laughs> this isn't over. <laughs> uh, what was that? That sounded like a grenade. Wait, do you, know, you say gum? No, bomb. Oh, okay. I'm like, hold on now. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if it's for anything. Explosive uh, bombs. Oh, oh, shit, that's one of our guys. Oh, please don't shoot our people. We don't quiet down. It was an accident. By Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. He doesn't have his light on. Uh, it looks like you have uh, a small just about slot over on the outside, by the way. Yeah. Oh, just have to take a breather. There we go. I'm dead on my fucking feet here. There's a screamer nearby. Fuck. I'm beat. <sighs> I think that was it. We made it. Again. There's a screamer nearby still, but... Yeah, but it wasn't a part of this horde. Alright. They want me to build a shooting range. In the small yeah, slot. Yeah, but you don't need to worry about that, I don't think. It would give us plus 20 stamina, people. What eh. can I scrap? What can I scrap? Salvage that. I mean, I don't really need anything else. We got yeah, beds, yeah. we got. I'm watching your people train and box nothing. They're just standing here in the dark. Just. Punching the air. Oh, shadow boxing. Is... <sighs> it's oh, I only have three food this. coming in a day? Oh shit, that's bad. Hey everyone, did you miss me? Oops. Yeah, you're never going to have a farm enough to negate your food usage. That's Ever. rough. <laughs> you know, so you like all, uh, all farms, and you have all of the farm upgrades, you're unlikely to, so. Says you, I have it like plus nine food a day. Why? How much, how much do you have to get rid of, or give up, to have your plus nine a day? I have ten, uh, roughly ten people. That didn't answer my question. I have ten people. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
eight people still. That, that again didn't answer the question. You're, it's not the number of people that's the problem. So are you asking why I have that? No, I'm asking how many other slots did you have to give up in order to have that food? Oh, just two small ones and a large one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess they give up a lot. They'll be fine. We'll find food for them. Yeah. And that's just because I, I only going in the positives so I can have excess food to trade. But if you really want to be economical, probably just one, maybe one large slot, maybe one small yeah, one, or just one small one. Because I've been using the um, seed upgrade where you boost yield. Uh, why can't I use the infirmary? And then I use the excess food. Did you clear the infirmary? The uh, no. The infirmary never works for me, so huh. that's why. Oh, I don't think you uh, it's, it's, it's an urgent care building. Yeah. yeah. I don't have an yeah, infirmary. Right. Well, it, that acts as an infirmary. Yeah, it's, it, I can't get rid of that. Hey, everyone. I, I know that. I just can't move. access it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Sounds like Coalition's I, making trouble again. I better find out what's got Bert, Bert so upset. I think right. he's asking you uh, to fix it. Oh, if only you had power, then I can make grenades. Need to make me a bunch of ammo. 762 rounds. How do you make ammo? With uh, my armory. His armory is amazing. You've been well? Here you go. I've never made ammo. It's unfortunate that it takes uh, a warlord. Supplies that I can't replace. Oh. Oh, I can make everything else. I just need power to make a hand grenade. And landmines, apparently. You can craft a solar panel, I think, still, right? From your workshop? Does he have a guy that does uh, knowledge of electricity or something? Maybe. I have... I'm really glad I found you guys. But I probably I mean, could use a book. I think I probably have you probably one have related to it. I'll freaking donate to the cause if I have... Uh, let me see. Okay. I have mechanics, utilities... Uh... Gardening. I have two utilities. So that improves the survivor's utilities, electrical or plumbing. Utilities unlocks hydroponics and boosts water power and water duration. I definitely need one of those. Chemistry, craftsmanship, and medicine. What people just like running on each other? Ones. Mm -hmm. They're boxing. Oh, they're fighting? Shut up, boxing. Okay. Anyways, I think they'll add more to this game through DLC, which I'll play. Yeah. I enjoy this game. It just needs more. Yeah. It's really wa it is very strange watching them box in the dark. <laughs> there, um, there really should have been a new zombie. <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta see this, dude. You really do. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look at what's going on over there. Sure, sure. okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's one person! There's one person! <laughs> they can't see. Well, it's because oh. it's dark in there. They can't see which way they're facing. <laughs> oh, shit. Legacy completion is permanent. Once you complete this mission, you can never access the community again. However, complete this legacy gives you a permanent boon that can apply a huge benefit to you for the communities. The survivors from this community will also be available whenever you start a new community. Would you like to start the final mission? Not yet, because I just walked in here not for that, but to watch the people oh. do dumb boxing. Okay. Uh, so basically the final mission, that that's the final mission, all the missions. Everything else you're doing is just uh, raging quests. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. I'm fine with that. I'm making some 556 ammo so that way I can fill up my inventory by a hell of a lot. I'm bringing my favorite gun, the pump action. I'm bringing an actual gun. I'll bring the rest of my... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I am going to... I don't want a shotgun. Where'd all the 5567 go? Let's see. There it is. I'm going to bring a ton of stuff to heal myself. And that's really all I need. I don't. I, I even doubt I'm gonna need any of these. Probably not. Frag oh, grenades. Uh, I have a feeling that we're just gonna go kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I can't access it. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. Right, let's go commit some hate crimes. <laughs> I'm ready for that. 
Just making sure everything's reloaded and good oh, to shit. go. Very nice. I like. We're bringing some. I'm gonna fix up the truck. Supplies. Oh my god, that ammo count! Holy shit! What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Red Talon operatives are on the verge of completing Project Lighthouse. Congratulations to the men and women making it happen. Holy. I'll bring and then we need 40 millimeter grenades for the grenade launcher. Whoops, I just used a fucking pill without needing it. <laughs> I refilled the truck and repaired it. <laughs> what are you giggling about? Looks like we're, we're going to go great. Uh oh. I'm bringing a med kit just in case. Are you seeing this? I'm making sure of it. Let me access my supply locker. I have a lot of things that I want. <laughs> the laughing. The laughing. And then he just shoots everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys. Alright. I'm ready to go. I am also ready to go. Me too. I'm armed. I've got ammos. Where is it? No oh, way, I have to go inside to start the mission. Gotta be quieter. Hey, everyone! The coalition is making their move! Mm hmm. Alright. Wait. It's time. Oh, uh, she's a lady yeah, there. it's the member. Would you like to start the final mission? Yes. Oh, I have to hold it down. So you can't accidentally start it. That's good. Talk to Vondelin where she's found out about the Coalition. I had a run-in with some Coalition members. They sent me back here with a message. We stand for freedom. Leave town and be buried here. Tell me where they are and I'll end this once and for all. Some advice? Raid your supply locker for the best gear before starting this. All right. Boys, it's time for us to get out of here. You are not... Oh, where are they? Ready? Oh, they're all the way down over here. In that building. Oh, they're at the very bottom of the map. Who's Dustin? Oh, he's my cover Over by the military base. Yep. All right. Yeah. It's time for us to Why don't you put your uh, yeah. marker there, Dom, so we don't get confused. Oh, I put my marker there. Yeah, remove any of your own markers, just in case. All right. Done. There, we have like three markers in one area. <laughs> Let's rumble! I got dust in my action. Yes, play Well, I mean, we don't have a helicopter, but I mean, this will do. Yeah, it's a military <laughs> truck. It's close. It's got of. it's got armored oh, windows it's and got armored. Four, it's got four wheel drive. It's okay, guys. We're we'll we'll up, boys. <laughs> Gliding on in. Range, man. <laughs> I think these are, left. are the opposite of aerodynamic. I guess the you can just drive up the, uh, the truck. Yeah, it looked like a road over here, oh, but that's fine. We'll just drive. When there, when there is oh, shit. There. There's coalition there, too. Huh. What do you mean? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What's I, going on? What do you so mean, Boobar? Well, I was on the map, and then everything started freaking out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a coalition building there. You keep saying uh, there, but I don't know. Oh, okay, marker, now you have up there. Okay. Oh! oh. One in the other town. Really? I don't think we have to kill them all. I think we just have to go to the main base. I mean, if we're far along the way... I mean, it's kind of not. On the way now. I guess it is. I like how sometimes you don't hear the smash noise against a zombie, you just hear a little. Oh. Feral, 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 feral. We'll deal with it. Stab! Oh, fucking other zombies! Ow! I'm getting shot! Yeah, there's a hostile territory here. I know, here. I, I know! I think they're dead here. 
immediate disappointment. Immediate disappointment because I'm they're all dead immediately. <laughs> See what they got. Tough. Shots of espresso. I nah, I don't need that. Maybe I these guys have some ammo for me. They've got a frag yeah. grenade. Don't need oh. that. Is this a gun cabinet? No. How am I not. To carry that? Okay, I'm getting the guard. Wait, too loud. Good lord, there are a lot more zombies than there were at the beginning of the. And they tackle us. Uh, yeah, they're party. quite aggressive. All the zombies that are around here. I need triple the amount of zombies. Yeah, there are. I don't think the zombies. game can handle that. Should be totally able to handle that in 2018. Uh, it, it should, but I don't think it can. Yeah. Dude, there's a giant white line at night across the middle of the stream. Is that still there for you guys? Is that still there? I don't, I don't see it now. I don't see well, it. Well, it's not night time now. Because it's not night. Well, I didn't notice it. <laughs> I don't know. Like the this, is, this is typical video game night, okay? I think they lightened up the nighttime. It doesn't feel didn't feel as dark as before. Uh, that's because it's dawn. That's. He says if you suck. Yeah, past tense. Here, check your gamma. Ah, uh, yes. Ew. Delayed response. Sorry. Oh, okay. I just said I want the dead guys around there. That was odd. Maybe All it's right. a coalition. Yeah, it's the coalition base. Wait a minute. Oh god damn it! This is where you fucking murdered me. <laughs> They're the bad guys. You know what? You're right. Uh oh. All right. I don't think I'm gonna have time to aim. Shotgun time. Let's go. Maybe if I take out two of them, I can get one to talk. There's only three at the coalition base. Wow. Too bad for them. There's four of us. Yep. Exhausted. I need to run. Hello. I will kill you. <laughs> Ido, could you get out of the way, please? <laughs> Woo! They gave up. Assume the position, asshole. Assume the position. Hold on, I'm trying to come by the guns. There we go. Talk to Bird to see what he knows. Just one left. Hey there. You want to know where the coalition is, right? Their HQ is at the derelict warehouse. That's all I know. Ah, thanks for the information, but I can't let you leave. You're dying so we can live. Right in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Kill. Where'd you pull that handgun from? I don't know. That was an animation. Yeah. <laughs> I came in at just the wrong time. <laughs> I just walked in and you're just shooting the guy in the head. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, so that wasn't the headquarters. Oh, evil. oh, yep, okay, zombies. Shotgun, oh, another hiking backpack. Oh, this one's less ugly. That's good. Why are we always evil? Oh, what? Oh, We're not evil. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're just morally ambiguous. We're not morally ambiguous either. We're the We're good the guys. guys. We're the guys with guns. We're the There's anti heroes. No we're the anti-heroes. Look, we're just here to make sure our people can make it. Why is Hito limping? Yeah, he's, he's tired. Probably sprinting too much. I mean, nobody wants another incident like me. <laughs> yeah, another Ranzig? Ah, uh, the Ranzig incident was not a good one. I was gone for many months. Oh, you mean... Oh, okay, I thought you were born or something. <laughs> Ouch. No. <laughs> we don't want wow. another Ranzik incident. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh, right in the fields. I kid. Oof. I'm down for the Ranzik incidents. <laughs> okay, now this is a little bit more like a base, but only ever so slightly. It's a warehouse that we've been to, yeah. but you know, yeah. it's better than like a fucking random ass ha like, cabin. There's a, there's a car right here. Yeah. Not we went here. Maybe it was. It was I was on more than one side of that. This is our time. Oh, they're shooting us now. Yeah, I'm a little far. Oh, they're all dead. 
They're dead. Well, that was <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. The coalition is dead. No one can stand against us. Finally, we can bring peace to this town. You know, the dead have been... Oh, <laughs> Congratulations really on achieving a lasting legacy for your community. Oh. This last part of the game is just for you. So you'll exit multiplayer in 10. Guys! Goodbye! Goodbye! Oh. Yay! You are just figments of your imagination! Is it gonna be a cutscene or like an entire section? I don't know. I'm gonna have to blade through my own final mission and find out. Oh, it's a cutscene. I think we could benefit from working together. How about we meet up? Now if only we could see a screen. Don't worry, I will send you the footage so you can. I know some of you doubted right. me along the way. And with good reason. But we stuck together. And look at what we built. And I don't think we're done. Not by a long shot. Because if we can rebuild one town, we can rebuild the next one too. <laughs> if we can rebuild one town, we can build the next one too. Yeah, I mean, sure. Do that enough times. And we got our whole damn world back. He does have a point. If you keep claiming every single town and clearing every single one, you would have the entire world safe. Of humans. Well, safe with our community. Safe of zombies and other hostile humans. It would all be under our banner. We could be America. New legacy boon. Warlord of organization. Received a grant, a giant, or receive a giant pile of guns, ammo, and grenades when you settle your first home. Oh, that's kind of nice. So yeah, I guess basically, that's you neat. get an arsenal. Yeah, you basically, yeah, you basically you get your new game plus and a whole bunch of stuff. Wow, that's such a high tech I'm back to it. Literally, like six enemies, like nine. <laughs> yeah, they came out. I didn't even get a chance to actually kill any of them. <laughs> I I was expecting like 20 dudes to come out. Yeah, I was, I was expecting. Ready. The end of State of Decay 1 actually has you kind of doing like a like a like a last stand survival bit uh, while you're waiting for the military to save you. So for this to basically just be like go or for the warlord ending to be like go off and attack them, and there's only three like people here, three people here, three people here, is boring. <laughs> That's lame. They outnumber the enemy. Yeah, if you just play co-op, you outnumber them outright. They should have at least scaled up for multiplayer because yeah. that way you could have like. And obviously, this isn't like a major going against humans game, so I can see how come they probably didn't like plan for that. But I definitely, oh, I think Warlord well, I mean, was supposed to be action packed. Stuff because I mean, they plan multiplayer. Yeah. So they, they balance it for single player though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's disappointingly State of Decay 2. Uh. Yeah, it took us a while just to play for two more hours, basically. <laughs> uh, I feel really bad that that's... I missed, like, a good chunk of it from killing all the play cards, and yeah, we would get to do the last of it, but that's... I was expecting it to be more... more? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, no. no. Yeah, there... you, uh... yeah. There you definitely should have been a lot more. Have fun. Yeah, it basically... Stop I don't know there. what happened. Like, Save the K1 didn't really have... A lot of didn't really have a lot to it either. Um, it it kind of didn't. It, it had a lot more of like an overall story because yeah, because you had the outbreak and whatever. Yeah, you had then, the outbreak, and then you know you you while you didn't have like a like a very linear story because you could be any character at any time. Uh, it was like an overall kind of like, oh uh, hey, go do this story mission. Hey, go do this story mission, and you could put it off as, as long as you want. But here well, it's I just kind of like mean, we kind of. We, we get here, and then it's like, okay, here's the world, do some stuff, and then it's kind of over. I they also, one, also have, uh, I'd say, more unique characters, because, I mean, all of the characters in this, as far as I can tell so far, have been, they're cookie cutters. They just have their different names and different skills. I mean, we had three Asian dudes that look exactly the same running around. Yeah. Just with different names. That's only because we did the tutorial, though. Yeah, that's true. But character. I mean, we also had the, the blue, air, the uh, well, blue I, hoodie woman. And... I, I had different characters, but that's because I did a different. I had different characters, characters for that too. 
Well, actually, no, my save got corrupted, uh, so I actually had to restart again. But still, I mean, even if you everybody did the tutorial, you just don't end up with a lot of character diversity. Yeah, there's no. not... The, in their attempt to make just kind of like a sandbox open world, they made all the mistakes that sandbox open world games have, which is they make a big giant world, and they you don't have anything to do in it. Yes, you have yeah. tons of zombies uh, around the world, I, but they're not threats, then. really. There, there weren't any new zombies, were there? As um, far as I could tell, no. Besides the Blood Plague zombies? No. I don't think there was any new zombies in, like, in comparison to <laughs> State of Decay 1 and 2. Which yeah. Is angry zombies. Uh, and you could you could fight humans in this, but they were laughable. Uh, I shot them at range. Yeah, I, 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 I think, I think, yeah, you had shot them in their god, and like, I think maybe two bullets actually came out from like hostile enemies, and it was at the end there when they kind of walked out, and we, before we had a chance to go, wait, what are they and doing they, over there? And they didn't kill us. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, we never died to a human. In fact, we never died at all. I mean, I didn't, here's the thing, though, that I don't, I don't know, and I, and when I do this. When I finish doing my my own playthrough of the ending for uh, the sheriff, uh, something I'm going to do is probably keep playing because I remember in State of the K1 uh, they had that endless mode, and the way that the endless mode worked was the game actually got harder uh, the more endless modes that you completed. That's a sandbox thing. Yeah, I mean I could see that like if they're intending you, obviously they intend you to beat the game and then start a new yep. world and just keep yeah. doing that over and over and over again. But the problem is yeah. that I don't want to do that. I want to go through a world and yeah. have a whole bunch of cool I shit mean, to do in the world and either have that kind of like last forever and then just decide for myself what a good ending point is or if we're going to have a, a climactic end, make it a climactic end. Make it actually really cool. Yeah. I want to run into these it's, to these red talon dudes and, and like fight like a military force and try and claim like one final giant base that can hold fight against the network or yeah. something. Yeah, and have a base that can hold like twenty to fifty people and like expand out or or even have the gameplay be a lot more fleshed out that you can have more of like a base that rather than having slots, slots are boring, man. It's literally you bring up a blueprint and you slap some things down and it's and then you open well, no, up some menus for them. That's it. You don't you don't yeah. you can see it in the world, obviously, but you should be doing the management from like on the ground and like seeing the basement the plate the bases get placed. You can kinda yeah. decide the spacing of everything. If it were like an RTS okay, kind of control. Yeah, yeah. You could upgrade, upgrade the walls, system. make them higher, make watchtowers on every single wall rather than only being able to make one watchtower on a fucking random slot in the middle of the base. That's dumb. Yeah, like, the watchtower doesn't actually really matter. Yeah, because you're gonna, have, yeah, you're basically gonna just have to get there and it's like defend it or any other stuff. It's a, stat, it's a stat booster thing, maybe. It's not an actual building. I, I mean, think they could have done uh, as a grid system. I want the, more though. That's the thing. The buildings, like the different bases, don't seem to actually matter much. Like they kind of don't. I mean, you already have like some are better, base, and that's it. Like <laughs> you just, they're just upgrades. They're not, they're, yeah. they're not unique. Right. Really. Like, the building itself might be unique, but it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. the architecture of the building, but... All that said, I don't feel like I wasted my money buying it. Right. Yeah, no. This this was still... This was an alright kind of, like, indie game uh, for 30 bucks. I mean, I paid, like, 60 for, like, the deluxe edition, I think. So I kind of paid full price, and so it's... If you're... Oops. I think if you're, if you're playing this... <laughs> I think if you're playing this on your own... Uh... You'll get, probably get a you'll probably get you'll probably you'll probably get more mileage out of it because enemies will be a lot more like impactful. Yeah, I, I probably is dangerous. Yeah, it probably definitely is a lot more like like we're playing State of Decay one where that was solo basically. Uh, I definitely had a lot more like close calls than this where I kind of only had close calls because I was dicking around and wasn't healing myself uh, because well we had four people so. <laughs> Yeah, Everything, yeah. It's not like death is final because I mean, you can become another character. But you back uh, up and then you're fine. Yeah. The only, the only problem is is like the leader characters because yeah, obviously then kind of like oh I got to make a new leader character now. Uh, but okay, even yeah, then, the that's not like a major issue. By the time you end up like cycling through your character, uh, which really I don't know how what many times you cycled through them, but by the time at my point in the game i have like four heroes so if my leader dies i don't care yeah i had like two other people who i could swap to and just played as yeah. and even then like even like swapping other characters i had just like guns with tons of ammo and like i had some stuff from just having 
uh, from like the deluxe edition, so there were a lot of cool weapons that I got from that, but even just from the world, there were tons of guns to get. Yeah. And I was basically overloaded with ammo and supplies that the game had to artificially like strip me of those things and limit me from those things purely because I had too much of it. And so that day, eh, I'm hoping that if they do a State of Decay 3 or if they do like, if they eventually do like a more, like they, they always wanted to do like, like the State of Decay Steam MMO, uh, then maybe they'll flesh it out a little bit more. They are now a first party developer studio. Uh, that's something that was interesting because State of Decay 2, it came out and then they had E3 a little bit later on. And, and yeah, the people who developed this are now like an actual first party uh, studio underneath Microsoft. I don't know if that means they're going to get more funding and more like people, but uh, I'm hoping that it means if they do another State of Decay game or another zombie game, they really or flesh do it out. Or like War of the Chosen for XCOM. And they just make a yeah well, even, yeah even like a, another expansion where you can get a whole new world uh, that'd be pretty cool. Obviously, I, th I think there are legitimately a couple of other different maps that are different from yeah. each other. Uh, so there's obviously Marginally. a little bit more mileage there. There's just at the end of the day, they're all it's it's very samey all across the yeah. map. There's nothing <laughs> different from the top of the map to the bottom of the map uh, except for how it looks. Because yeah, you're gonna run into the, you're gonna run into the same zombies. Yeah, you're gonna run into the same zombies. You're gonna run into randomly generated loot that mostly doesn't matter, and that's kind of sad. It, yeah, it's kind of a little sad for for what I was hoping would be like just a really nice zombie survival experience. Uh, so hopefully they'll make better stuff. But for now, I think that's kind of it. It was all right. It was a it was it, it was there for some laughs. But I'm ready to kind of move on. Yeah, move, move <laughs> It was on. enjoyable. It was yeah. enjoyable. It wasn't bad. It just it could have been more. It needed more. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It could have been more. 